This is the Farming Sims channel and I'm on Griffin, Indiana for episode 28 of my Let's Play series. It's the morning of day 7 and I'm on the farm this morning to look after the animals. Uh, I put the chicken pens in, uh, all four of them, 2,000 chickens. I put them in on the morning of day 4. And uh, this morning I have a full trailer load. This is the VS Truck Revolution, along with the Goods Transport for Eggs trailers. And I've got a full load of 38,400 eggs. And I've decided to uh, start the morning off with uh, an egg cell. Uh, I'm not hard up for cash because I have done some work overnight as usual uh, but the farm is moving along very nicely and I am thinking about what I'll do next um, I'm actually in two minds about where I should go next with the animals and I'd actually be interested in your opinion. Um, I could extend the pigs. Uh, I've got uh, capacity for a thousand pigs at the moment. I could go harder with the pigs or I could go with uh, some sheep uh, or some cows. I could maybe do a combination of extending the pigs and and going with uh, a couple of cow pens as well so i'd be interested to see what what you guys think um, let me know um, i'm kind of in in two minds about which way to way to take this uh, i am heading for uncle pete's diner which i just drove past there i think the biggest problem with this cell point is it's not a drive-through uh, I probably will have a little bit of difficulty here so let's disconnect the dolly yeah that's a good idea disconnect the dolly I bought the second trailer last night in the dark and I couldn't remember the uh, color scheme that I went with on the first trailer so it kind of looks like I've got a black one and a green one not so bad seeing my truck is black and green all right so I get a an overload they don't just disappear here I need to hit the start overload well I got the truck in here that's not too bad let's try that and looks like it's not selling oh there we go I went back too far okay so Uncle Pete's excellent diner is open 24 hours and it's air conditioned it's very popular a lot of cars in the car park but the cash is rolling in he's paying a top dollar for eggs at the moment let's have a quick look eggs I checked it this morning I hope it hasn't changed let's go down yeah 5,372 so that first trailer load, which is almost 20,000, I think it's 19,000 on each trailer, netted 103,000 worth of eggs. Now that's what I sold on, so I bought them on day four, and I sold one trailer load on, on day five, which was to, to test to see how much I would make per day on the chickens um, yeah and I made a hundred thousand dollars of uh, oh guess what the truck doesn't have a a truck doesn't have a trailer hitch on the back of it well that's interesting 
wasn't an option, I'm sure of it, that I missed. Could have been. We can get around that problem. If I can reverse straight. If I can reverse onto the dolly. Um, there we go. Whoop. And then disconnect the rear trailer. That's not too bad. And then disconnect the whole lot. There we go. Concentrate here. Okay. Oh, I didn't leave myself some space there to back into. I parked in the wrong spot. I haven't left myself enough room here. Alright, we'll get a better angle on that. There we go, right at his door. So we'll pick up another 103,000 here. And that will put me financially in a, a good position to move on to the next set of animals. Um, I said I could do a combination of extending the pigs and cows, or I could go into sheep. Maybe I've got a, I've got six pens already, four chickens and and two pigs. So I could go with say another thousand pigs which would be two pens and a thousand cows which would be two pens and that would be my ten animal pen limit or I could just go with four sheep pens that would be uh, two thousand sheep uh, the sheep will be somewhat easy from the point of view of prepping. Uh, when I've got two trailers on, uh, the trick I find is, is whichever way I want to turn, so I want to turn this slightly to the left, I just turn to the left, I believe, and it will move in that direction, which I've just turned in the wrong direction. Yeah. Because I've got it reversed the camera. So I turn to the right, it will there we go. Hook up no, don't disconnect. He gave me the there it is. Okay, we're back on. Oh that wasn't too bad. <laughs> and the green and red trailers don't look so bad, I guess, because the truck is green and red. Let's make a turn here. Where we've got plenty of room. I think I've got traffic on. Just gonna run around this morning. It's very quiet. I'm sure I have traffic on. Maybe I switched it off last night when I was moving harvesters around. Oh, we, we're going a little too fast here for this turn. We better hit those anchors. Alright. Traffic must be switched off, seriously. Oh, no, here we go. There's a car. It's just very quiet. How will this go in reloading? Let's, let's come around this way. 
we'll get a good angle on each of the chicken pens. Oh yeah, um, I, I was freaking out last night thinking that uh, the eggs would be full and I would get the unable to, to store more eggs error that would come up. But I've, I've never really let these pallets go up onto a second level before. And uh, I was thinking I had to unload them first thing this morning at dawn. Um, and then I forgot to, I was doing a contract and it's popped up onto a second level. Can you believe I've been using these uh, for probably 12 months, this mod, and um, I've never let them go onto the second level. So that's six pallets there. Uh, it can actually hold 12, it looks like. I mean, you guys probably knew that already. Um, but whenever it got to that almost full at the uh, on the first bottom level, I would uh, I would quickly unload, thinking that it would uh, would overfill like the sheep do with their pallets if you don't move them off the you know. Okay, there's there's almost a jeez, that was almost a trailer load there. this guy's got a lot as well. He's got three pallets in there. So we'll get the guys to load that sec second one up. There we go. Okay, I'll leave all the doors open usually so I can just sort of wander past and have a look, see. Where's the trigger? I don't want to go past the trigger because reversing is a pain. Am I a little bit too far away? Might have to come back around on him. Looks like I'm Too far away from it. Okay. Okay, that one's empty. Well, we're gonna have a whole nother trailer load here. Pigs need a little bit of cleaning. I haven't done that this morning yet. I I did do it late last night when I was doing contracts around about midnight. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh wow, just short. Okay.
So I'm heading over to my truck shed. It's also got the harvesters over here. And it's also got a new piece of equipment that I purchased last night when I was re uh, seeding, planting my my fields uh, with the corn. I actually didn't own a planter. Let's jump out of the truck for a second. I didn't own a planter, so I picked up. Uh, the uh, DB90. Uh, it has uh, no fertilization on it. Uh, it's just got the uh, the seed. Uh, it's huge. It's amazing. I loved it. And I picked up a 9230 uh, as well to run it on. Uh, that way I could uh, plant the corn over in to field 2-5 and um, and also run the uh, run the 7690 well, I just threw out um, you know, I, I ran uh, the, the cedar for the uh, canola and the soy on the uh, on the eight, 8960 <clears throat> sorry I don't know where that number came from 798 uh, which I've had for quite a while now so he's got a big brother now um, and I can use that to seed and to to plant at the same time I was thinking of picking up a second cedar so they can both work together on the seeding um, maybe even a second planter I'm not sure I, that planter is so big I don't think I really I need a second one of those um, but the second cedar would definitely come in handy the the cedar is a little smaller than that about half the size whoa mate didn't even look just pulled out right in front of me Bit of road rage here. Uh, so I'll top up the waters and I'll I always catch that edge. Field 11 is empty and I don't have a contract running at the moment. Field 31 is empty. A lot of the fields are empty at the moment uh, and the reason for that is, is overnight I did my own fields but also did um, quite a few contracts. So I'm here to pick up the transport, uh, the animal transport. And I will head down to the animal dealer and pick up with all of that money that just came in. I think I'll pick up another load or two of pigs. Um, but I also could run a contract while I'm doing this, so let's have a quick look. Contracts. Oh, I haven't collected on a little harvest that I did collect on that. So typically I leave cultivating. Uh, I don't usually touch them. I. I don't do a lot of sewing contracts, but 11 is there for $23,000 on wheat. 
there won't be a lot of harvesting contracts here there are a lot of cultivating and sowing because I've done most of the harvesting oh there is one harvesting there oh, sugar beets mm, maybe maybe later let's go with 11 um, and I'll even spend the thousand dollars and borrow his equipment. I'll turn the truck off for a second. Let's flick through our equipment to... What has he got here? I mean, I love the 8R. I don't think I've ever used this cedar before. Star. I think I've always been put off by the size of it, not lengthwise, but widthwise. A lot of um, a lot of farms with gates uh, or smaller laneways, uh, crossing railway tracks, things like that. I mean, I think I've always been put off by the the size of this. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, this could be the first time I've ever used this uh, cedar. What is it doing? It's uh, it's picking up little tiny bumps in the road. Maybe um, oh, don't no, don't come down here, really. I didn't have my beacons on. That's my fault, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he would have gotten out of my way if I had my beacons on. Yeah, there it goes again. It's bumping around. Uh, we need to fill this. And my guy's in the way. Okay, we'll move him. Where should we put him? Just take him around the corner here. Oh, look how much, how much seed can this thing hold? I'm a fan of cedars that can run all day without having to reload. So my cedar can hold um, 5,500 seed. There we go. Oh, great. Uh, so that's for the fertilizer and it wouldn't give me a seed refill trigger there we go on the back it'll give you yeah 4,250 seed that's not too bad but for the size of it I think would hold a little more maybe.
I'll start with this corner because obviously the worker will have a little bit of trouble with it. Let's not put it in the creek. on. Oh, so we'll actually get a look at, um, I don't know what to call this, it's field 2, 3, 4 and 5 that's been joined together. I think I'll just call it field 5. So uh, field 5 has been planted with corn and uh, joined together, limed and fertilised. Um, yeah, and that will that will keep the the pigs happy forever. Um, I'm expecting a, a really big yield off that. Uh, the yield I got off the barley off that that field, the the smaller fields before I joined them, was quite impressive as well. Where are we? The truck. Uh, I've got uh, barely a uh, high yield off the barley of 300,000 litres, which I was very happy with, uh, even though I didn't really get, uh, I don't think I, I fully got them prepared, that field prepared the way it should have been. Oh, that's right, this is a really tight corner here. That sign always goes. Uh, but I was even more impressed at the straw that I got off it. Uh, I obviously picked up all the straw from the barley for the pigs. And I have 1.1 million litres, uh, which is the capacity of my silo. I have 1.1 million litres of, of, um, of straw now in the multi-fruit silo. So, um, that's going to last forever as well, I guess. That is 56 pigs for 84,000 confirm. We should have pigs in the truck. Yes, we do. Haha, <laughs> well done. Okay. That's better. Okay, and the train went past, so we don't have to worry about the train. Mine rooster is just outside the window here. He likes to uh, make an appearance in some of my videos. Well, not an appearance, but you can hear him sometimes. Checking on the seed up is working fine. And we want the front of the second pen. And we move 56 black and whites. Confirm. Okay. Uh, 
they do need some cleaning. It's not so bad at the moment. But I will pick up I will pick up a second lot. And then that'll that'll take me up to two fifty almost. So at the moment I actually have a technician here at home. It's a rainy day and I'm taking this opportunity to have some game time because because it's raining I don't I don't have a lot that needs to be done at the moment. Oh, I'm caught on the I'm caught on the street side. I think I've done that before once or twice uh, and we've had uh, internet on and off for the last week and uh, it appears that glass fiber cabling it's a little old now I think it's about five years old and uh, it's broken a couple of times and it keeps breaking whites. Uh, we've had a few big storms recently in the afternoon and very strong winds and uh, the cable is so fragile that if it gets bumped around at all it se seems to be breaking. So I have a technician back here at home for the second time in a week. Um, the last technician just reconnected the uh, the fiber optic and left and then it appears that it's broken again so the technician today is putting in a new optic fiber cable from the box to inside the house so hopefully that will fix things up. But without internet, I I found that I couldn't play I couldn't play any game that had uh, any of the DLCs running. Um, this game doesn't have any of the DLCs running, but some of my other series they do. And we move. Uh, it turns out that it needs to check that you actually have the license for a DLC and if you don't have the internet you can't use it. Uh, the other thing that was interesting was that Seasons wouldn't load. Now again I don't have Seasons on this game but I think I have Seasons basically running on all of my other series. Seasons um, is on just about all of my other series that I'm running and it turns out that the game would get to 85% load and then it wouldn't load, it wouldn't give me an error or anything, it just sort of froze up and I found that kind of interesting. Um, it only happened on my maps with Seasons and any map that, like this one, that wasn't running Seasons, I didn't have that problem with. And it, it reminds me of a time way, way, way back when, that I was playing on Six Ashes. And we move these. 
and for some reason six ashes wouldn't load it would get to 85 percent and then it kind of just froze um this is before i started making content but i was sort of running a, a game alongside mr Sealy p when he was doing his six ashes series and it and it first came out i was quite impressed with the map i think it's by gb modding and uh after about maybe about 20 or 30 hours of gameplay I tried to load it up and it just kept freezing and the only way I could get it to load was by turning seasons off I turned all my mods off and it loaded so I thought oh it's got a mod conflict uh, and then I was trying to identify what the mod was and the mod was seasons that that wouldn't let it load and now that uh, without the internet i've seen that seasons does this it it freezes up the uh the load uh the game save load at 85 percent if you don't have an internet connection i now realize that like 12 months later that month that must have been 12 months ago uh, i'm gonna get pinks this time for the other pen that should take both of them basically almost up to 300 i think something like that Boom. so what i realize now is is that on that day 12 months ago when i tried to load six ashes with seasons my internet probably dropped out and I hadn't realized. Um, and therefore, it was getting to the 85% uh, didn't have an internet connection, couldn't confirm seasons for whatever reason it needs the internet for season. Now, this is a theory. I, I have no idea whether this is true or not. But it seems like what actually happened was is that the internet dropped out it wouldn't load seasons and then every bad thing i said about gb modding i under my breath no it wasn't under my breath i yelled it out in the and i killed the entire save game i ended up throwing it because i i'd obviously started it in seasons and i figured well if i can't load it back up with seasons then everything i did was kind of it, it had messed everything up. It had messed my animals up. Um, confirm that. Okay, let's have a quick look at pigs. Okay, so both of them are heading towards 300, just over, just under. And they'll both need, um, well, they don't need a top up of anything. They're fine with everything. But I can... Um, I can spend some time and top those up later. The reason I brought the water over because it was in the way. So I have saved this spot here. Um, I can fit maybe uh, uh, some more items on my farm here. But I don't really propose to put more animals on this spot. Obviously, it's, I've used up most of the space. but. Field 11 across the road would be a good option, um, especially if I put cows over there, seeing that cows are kind of sitting there already. And field 30 here, which I'm using uh, for free, I've not purchased um, this field. I could always buy this area and... Um, It's kind of an interesting block of land. It's got uh, some area, a small area over the side there. We'll have a look at in a second. Uh, do I need the truck? Yeah, well, the water is over there. I can 
Let's just uh, park the truck there for a second and jump out. Yeah, I mentioned the new planter rig. Yeah, so it has that interesting spot just over here. Obviously, you could cut this area off from the field and uh, use it for uh, animal pens here. Um, which uh, I actually wanted to buy field 30 as my first field. But it had... Um, what did it have in it? It had sugar beets in it. And I didn't want to harvest. I was looking for a field to harvest as my first harvest. And uh, I obviously didn't want to go with sugar beets as a start off field. Uh, so I bought field 16 instead as my starting field. Um, this guy's going alright. He probably will need a top up. He's halfway through. Mm, he's about halfway through the field. So. Maybe I can come back and check on him later. Uh, so I'm back at the farm. I do need to clean up the pigs. Yeah, so I, I actually, when that dawned on me the other day that uh, the 85% uh, load uh, save game load free to freeze up it was kind of like you said all those terrible things about the guy's map and all along it was probably my internet connection uh, that stopped it from loading and I was cursing seasons as well I couldn't believe that uh, Seasons would be the the, uh, the mod conflict. It made absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Uh, so I, I didn't really blame Seasons. I kind of, in my mind, I, I threw out uh, Six Ashes and I didn't go back to it. I did watch a lot of uh, Mr. Sealy P series. Um, which I really enjoyed, by the way. That series was quite good. Um, but I do remember thinking at the time that I would start my own channel. Um, and I think that series of Mr. Sealy P sort of made me want to video log, document my, my own series. Um, you know, just really for my own benefit so I could go back and uh, enjoy watching uh, uh, a map that maybe I'd finished with or deleted or I just couldn't play I was busy with uh, running the farm um, we have an animal farm and while I'm out doing things I can always you know watch other people's content but I always always thought it'd be a good idea to to watch my own content and strangely enough I do watch my own content but while we are talking about my content I really would like to thank everyone that has been supporting my channel watching my series subscribing I'm I've been doing this for about six months and I, I started off very slow. One episode a week on this on this series. Uh, I have tried to conti continue with this series at one episode a week. Uh, but I do have some other series running at the moment. And I, I think I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank everyone that's been watching my content. Uh, some people have been great at giving me tips, uh, working through sound problems early on. Uh, just trying to think of what my next job will be. Let's have a quick look. A lot of tips on, on my time lapse series that I started. I really 
I really appreciate the constructive criticism that guys have given me. I don't even take it as criticism. It's really just really helping me out. Um, I've made friends with a lot of other content creators who have given me some great tips or even inspired me to, to do some of the other the other uh, series that I've done. I mean, because I've had no internet, I started a, a no mod series. You know, like uh, Bruce's Gaming and Rusty Money doing their No Mods Challenge. Um, that totally inspired me to, oh yeah, I might as well start a No Mod series, you know. Um, and that leads into FS22. Uh, yeah, a good comparison between FS19 base game and FS22 base game. I was thanking everyone for my, the support. Uh, that you've shown me over the last six months, in particular since I came back from my break as well. I took a month off for the month of August and uh, sort of had a bit of a... bit of a... Uh, self-imposed internet break. I did watch some movies and TV and things like that, but I really didn't go on the internet very much I didn't I did a little bit of editing but uh, I didn't really play at all and um, I didn't release any content for a month I sort of stayed away from YouTube for a month but since I've come back um, yeah I'm heading towards 200 subscribers which is amazing um, I feel like uh, other people enjoy uh, my content. I really started doing this really just as a video log of how I did different builds on different farms in different styles. Um, kind of record, you know, different different scenarios in seasons. Um, how much uh, uh, precision farming makes. Uh, uh, makes life easier, uh, more profitable, especially on this series. And I really wanted to look at, at different series over a period of time um, myself, watch back over them, see how I can improve my gaming. Um, and I didn't actually realize how difficult it is to, to make content. I mean, I could just press the record button and just throw it out there, you know, time lapse times eight, and there's your episode, guys, or or just record an hour and throw it out there. But I do I do really enjoy editing. I used to edit uh, in a past uh, job that I had, and I used to work uh, on a MacBook Pro using uh, Final Cut Pro. Um, back in the day. I have to go back a long way for that. Uh, 2000 and... Well, it was after September 11, because I remember making a video um, um, in relation to September 11. So it was 2000, end of 2001. I was actually working on some editing um, for both for personal, just as a muck around but uh, professionally as well. Um, but I haven't done it for quite a while, so I've really enjoyed the editing side of things. Uh, I think my gameplay has gotten better because of the recording. Um, it's a little smoother. It's not so scattered. Um, uh, I have a plan more often than not than just uh, randomly just jumping on and saying, oh, what am I going to do today? Uh, that was full? Yeah. Um, you know, some, some other content creators have given me inspiration. Uh, Cricket has given me inspiration. Crazy Crew has given me inspiration. Um, Cobbler Farms has given me some tips recently 
um, and also inspired by his vintage survival. Um, uh, Mr. Olympic commented on my video the other day and reminded me of of the uh, the RYC Trans Trans 90 um, uh, auger wagon, um, which I've never really used. Uh, I've seen it. I saw it when it came out, but I've I've never really um, I never really used it. Yeah, so it's it's really made my gaming a ton more enjoyable. I really enjoy my gaming days now. I mean, not that I didn't before, but it's just taken it to another level. And also, uh, no BS, I, I actually am making these for me. I mean, I, I sit down and um, I watch all of my own episodes. And if they're crap to me, then I'm not going to put them out there. I know they're not the greatest, but uh, I know I've got audio problems still. Um, uh, I'm on a PS4. I'm on an old PS4, to be honest. I've, I think I'm enjoying my gameplay even more um, since I, I've started uh, making content. So this guy will be finished in a minute. He's just got to come back up. He is almost out of seed. I could run the auger wagon out to him. But because he's just across the road, I think I'll just... I think I'll just drive him up and give him a top up. Mind you, this is a contract. It might finish early. Depending on how much he's missed on the ends, it might actually not need him to come all the way back up. It's going to be close. Go on, do me a favour and say contract complete. Go on. Do it. You want to. I know you want to. Please. 30 seed left. Come on. it'll use like 20 seed and then it'll say oh no it just said it contract on field 11 finished <laughs> oh that's brilliant that's brilliant all right i can't believe it just did that it did it after after he actually stopped oh let's have a look it is it's complete Oh my god, I'll collect on that. And that's a good way to end the episode. <laughs>